subscribe and ring the bell to never miss an update. Hello everyone, let's get holiday ready. Today on Lady Mary Bath, we are on a mission to thrift and set a festive Christmas table. It's shopping with a purpose at the Charity Guild of Catholic Women. Proceeds benefit children's charities in the greater Houston area. Join me. I'm delighted to welcome you into the Catholic Charity Guild, one of our favorite shopping destinations. It is perfect for gifting and for gatherings. Can't wait to show you around. Welcome to Charity Guild Shop, a treasure trove of home, fashion, accessories, collectibles, and more. We will shop this store to create an inviting holiday table. Let's curate items for a table setting to welcome St. Nick, family, and friends. This is one of my favorite shopping destinations to trim the tree. I found a Herod's ornament here a couple of years ago, and that is on my breakfast room tree for a whimsical touch. Lots of decor as well, even for outside. Cookie jars are a great addition to your holiday decor. They don't have to be used just in the kitchen and you don't have to fill them. A friend recently purchased one at the Bluebird Circle, their Christmas launch, and she's using it just for decorative purposes. Of course, you could hide even your TV remote inside one of these. And these wonderful Fitz and Floyd trays, $6 is a bargain. You could have that on hand to place some Christmas cookies for a neighbor or friend, and that's a very affordable gift. We will first focus on the basic elements of a table, linens, dishes, glassware, and flatware. Let's get started. There are aisles of tabletop treasures to fit every taste, style, and budget. You will also want to take a look at holiday linens when you're out thrifting. I especially enjoy the vintage elements here. And even if you just have white dishes, you could certainly dress it up with these. Linens are my inspiration to build a table. It could be centered around a theme or colors. With Christmas, we could look at classic, whimsical, nostalgic, woodland, or anything that gets us in the holiday spirit. Retro 1970s linens, these are such fun. For 11 Christmas napkins, $10. That is a great deal. And keep in mind, these are probably just wash and wear. You don't have to iron them. These scalloped napkins are extra special with the holly design at the corner. These I think will be perfect for our Christmas table. I'm thinking of these red sequin placemats. You could even place them portrait instead of landscape, if that makes sense, on your table. That way it drapes down underneath the place setting. Could add some interest. Here's another retro tablecloth. Love that look. And it is $10. Quite a deal. Definitely dress up your table. So many choices here today. I am looking for the perfect tablecloth and I think I have found it. Such detail here with some woodland elements. I like the touches of gold. Very festive. I think we have a winner and a great start to our table. This is the perfect tablecloth to build our setting. It's actually still a current item from Williams-Sonoma and this is a huge savings off of the retail price. 
This is definitely a wonderful selection. I may not use each element, but I did want to pull some things so that we have them to work on our base and then build on that. That scalloped edge on the napkin is perfect. The most fun part of the table setting is selecting the dish pattern. There's some great options here. This would be perfect for a classic Christmas or dessert party. Let's take a look at the dishware department. One of the most popular Christmas patterns you probably remember from the Bluebird Circle where I talked about the history of it. This goes with so many different looks and I do like that it has more green than red because then we can add some red to our table. This is a mug inside of a tin. It's part of their sentiment collection. It's $18, add a red bow and you've got a great gift. The classic Spode Christmas is a great choice for our table setting. This is a pattern that has graced tables for generations. It launched in 1938. It is made in England and here we have that beautiful back stamp. Today, Spode is mostly made in China. Another reason to shop your local charity resale. I have some friends with this pattern and I'm often picking up serving pieces for them. Mugs are another great option. And wouldn't this be lovely to add to your white dishes or simply use for breakfast? 13 pieces for about $20. You could even add the teacups if you didn't want to have the entire set or perhaps just the dinner plates. I'm really liking these poinsettias with that pop of red. Definitely a festive look made by Gibson. And these have gone down to $25 for 40 pieces. Gibson is a very affordable dishware. It is definitely not fine china, but you could still have a lot of fun with that. Norman Rockwell collector's plates are popular. You can actually serve on these. Priced at $10. These napkin rings definitely have my attention and I'll tell you more about the company and history. This is a possibility for our table. These Cuthbertson napkin rings are an interesting find. This actually predates Spode Christmas, it was designed in America and produced by England's finest potters since 1922. And it also has a Christmas tree on the plate. The difference is it has a star on top instead of a Santa and it has a brighter green in the holly. These holly plates are perfect. It adds just the touch of festive to your table setting. Surprisingly, these are actually Macasa French countryside in their holiday holly pattern. I know many of you have this and that's the basic white. Did not realize they made this. These are also lovely. They do have some very affordable options. This is also made by the Gibson company. Great way to stretch your budget. These have not gone down in price yet. For 40 pieces, it's $85. You'll definitely want to keep an eye out at the Charity Guild because the prices do go down the longer they are on the shelf. Farber Ware with the Christmas Village. I even like just the basic red and white as we just saw. These are lovely and I'm quite surprised to look at the back stamp and to see that they are actually from Target. I would not have guessed this and it's priced accordingly $22.50 for 24 pieces. I do find it's not my favorite because it shows knife marks, not the best quality, but you know, if you're using it once a year, why not? And for every day, you could definitely combine this with any setting. I love the non-traditional Christmas, something that adds a bit of festive to your look. When selecting dishes for your holiday table, it doesn't have to just be pottery or porcelain. You could also consider glassware. This is from the Jeanette Glass Company. The gold banded bowls are well priced at $10.50 for this vintage set. Barware is a great addition to your table and of course for your entertaining, for cocktail parties. That gold rim is extra special. I especially like the vintage glasses. 
There's something unique about them that you just don't find today. Glassware is a fun addition. You could also mix several different patterns to add interest to your table and certainly find some vintage items here at a charity resale. Very well priced, $16 for eight glasses. Perfect for iced tea, just about any kind of beverage. And these I really enjoy. $15 for a set of nine. That's a strong possibility for our Christmas table. And of course, you can also look at clear glasses, even some of the pink elegant glass of the Depression era. Anything with gold would be just the touch for our seasonal table. And these vintage glasses are quite plentiful. They have them in different sizes. I do like to mix it up a bit. I think this is a great option, but I would like to add a different glass along with it. And these are very well priced, $3.75 for five glasses. The cobalt stems are fantastic. And look at these etched glasses. Some truly great possibilities here for our table. I keep going back to this because it just has a great vintage look. This 1956 Libby Glass Company design is in the Royal Fern pattern. It is 22 karat gold banded, and this would be a nice addition to our table and pick up some of the gold in the tablecloth. Here's a close-up of this glass. I think it is just fantastic. It has a very airy and light look to it. And now let's focus on flatware, another basic component of our table setting. It's not often that you find something brand new in a box with flatware. I will say that's a bit unusual for a thrift store. Great opportunity. The mother of pearl handled knives. And you can certainly add some vintage touches, especially with the serving pieces. Your sugar shell does not have to match your knives and forks. We've got two great options for flatware. This is brand new in a box, which is a bit unusual. Hampton Signature 1810, which is what we'll always look for in quality stainless. And it is well priced at $38. But I prefer vintage. I'm going to take a closer look at the Holmes and Edwards and I'll tell you more about the history. I'm also eyeing the vintage flatware here in the chest. It is a brand that I've actually seen before. Holmes and Edwards, and I will tell you all about the history of this and how to identify the era and age. That has the French blade instead of the modern blade. It looks to be a bit separated from the handle instead of that integrated look. You'll notice the back stamp says inlaid, and we'll remember that as we talk more about the history. It definitely adds some interest to your table, and I'm sure these were used in some wonderful dinners over the years. It is well priced at $74.50 for this set. Holmes and Edwards is very well priced, $74.50 for this extensive set. And they did market this for everyday use and they had a patented inlaid process to reinforce certain areas that would see a lot more wear. And this is definitely prior to 1956 because it does have the inlaid as part of the back stamp. After that, they did make some changes. They were acquired by International Silver Company. Another great option to add to your place setting to elevate your dinner plate. I'm also looking for plate chargers. And I see they have two box sets here in gold, which would be nice with those gold stars that show on the tablecloth. But I'm also considering a ruby red. Let's take a look at the charger options. Charter Club is a Macy's brand. What a great price for these four chargers. And that would make a great gift as well. Something to think about. And the ruby especially glass chargers, these are extra special. And I think just the right thing to anchor our place setting. It's the bottom shelf advantage. I found four ruby glass chargers. They'll be a nice contrast with the base of the tablecloth. White with those gold stars, this will really pop. 
Now for the fun part, we get to shop the store for a centerpiece. This could be something as simple as a punch bowl or compote filled with glass ornaments, holiday decor, a Christmas village, a cloche filled with some interesting items, just about anything. The sky's the limit and let's shop the store and see what we can find. I do consider punch bowls and compotes when creating a centerpiece. It does not have to be a holiday item. This is a European machine cut compote. Look at the beautiful design. And of course we can add some holiday elements to create our look. It's very well priced. And I think that could be a wonderful tabletop essential. This trio of mercury glass trees is also a great option. The initial price is $75 and of course over time that does go down. And my experience is that most items at the Charity Guild don't last to the maybe second to last markdown. And it's already more affordable now. Something to consider. I do look at smaller items such as paperweights, decorative pieces for the table. It's certainly not all about the obvious tabletop essentials. This vase really catches my eye. It is an Italian art glass. It's well priced at $18 and I have found this on Etsy for $150. Wouldn't that look great with dried florals? Fresh, of course, as well. Nutcrackers you can also place and use as a table centerpiece. Creates a festive look. We saw lots of these at the Bluebird Circle for their Christmas launch. And that's certainly a wonderful idea for any type of setting, even a buffet. You can add some fun Christmas items to it. This green glass is really a neat piece. It's priced at $135 for the initial price. It's gone down to $67.50. And interesting that this is actually a large art glass by Makora Crossno. These vintage candelabras are unique because they're actually votive candle holders. And I like that they're red and white. I did consider mixing the different colors, but I think that they stand alone better. To add a 3D element, these glass beads would be such fun on a table. Priced at $8 for each garland. And they do have white as well. They're from Pottery Barn, and this is less than half of the original retail price. And that is going to be a great look for the table. And you're probably wondering why I'm looking at a tree topper. I think this could fit nicely in our compote and for a really good deal. For $6, let's add that to our cart full of some ideas. And even ornaments would be lovely placed in that compote with the red and green. We we'll definitely pick up some of the elements of the tablecloth. In building a centerpiece, you also want to add some interesting additions. And even though this is a beverage glass, the Jamestown pattern from Reed and Barton, this can be used in a different way. Perhaps an ornament could be placed on top and that could be simply part of your centerpiece for your festive table. These are on clearance. I always shop the markdown section, $3.75 for the pair. I'm taking another look at this snowman platter. This could fill up one of the corners of our dinner table because I think that that would be a nice addition with the design. Add some interest. Waterford Crystal licensed their brand in the 1990s to many different items, including ceramics, writing instruments, glass ornaments, and linens. These are brand new in a box. Val St. Lambert Gardenia candle holders would be a wonderful addition to our table. I'm wanting to go a bit more vintage, but what a great gift this would make for $56.25. I'm often looking for Anna Lee designs. I have a whimsical tree in my breakfast room you may have seen in a previous segment. And I think this would be a nice addition tucked underneath my tree, which is elevated on a wicker basket. 
And they also have some vintage barware you wouldn't expect, but always take a close look at their seasonal items. We have some silks and feathers. Now we can create a wonderful centerpiece. And in the glass Italian vase with that lattice design, wouldn't these be perfect for winter wonderland? Wreaths are great as a centerpiece. You can place a punch bowl inside or footed crystal bowl. This single beaded placemat may look like the Lone Ranger, but I think that would anchor our compote because it is clear. This would add some color to it. $11.25. These are usually about $30 in the store. We'll definitely add this to our cart. Nativities are the perfect addition this time of year to celebrate the reason for the season. I wouldn't use this as a table centerpiece, but wanted to showcase this. $18.75. That is a wonderful idea to add to your home. And this trio of trees, I think, is very well priced at $20. Don't think I would put that in the center of a table because of the height, but you could certainly add that as a decorative element in your home or on a sideboard. You just have to look all around the store. They have things tucked in every corner. Seasonal is definitely on display. Baccarat Crystal is always well-priced here at Charity Guild. A set of seven has gone down to 183.75, which is still a very good deal for Baccarat. You could certainly watch that price. I could add this to the table, but I think I want to stay with something just a bit more fun to go with our tablecloth. And I like to add items of interest that don't normally belong on a table, like this covered box. You could fill that with some wrapped candies or you could place a gift inside. These coasters are made in Poland, beautifully packaged, perfect gift opportunity. Snowman, look at that, a pear for the salt and pepper shakers. Wouldn't that be a great addition to your table? And these are from Shannon Crystal, $9 for this set. A lot of Shannon is made in China today. This is made in the Czech Republic. I think a great opportunity to add to your table or gift closet. Pitchers are practical, and I featured a segment on these for the many uses. This one is extremely well priced. I like to add serveware and tabletop essentials to my table setting. It is, after all, something you will use, such as this crystal pitcher coasters, trivets, salt and pepper shakers. Let's take a look at some of the great items in the store. And here is a close look at that Waterford mark. This is the acid edge stamp in the Gothic lettering style, which is classic Waterford. They changed that logo in the late 90s. This ruby claret, I think, could be used for syrup on a brunch table. And that touch of red is perfect for the season. Very well priced. This is another piece of Waterford Crystal. I recognized it immediately, not from the design, because I didn't know of this piece, but the cuts and the color. And it's $10. What a deal. And you can tell by the color of the crystal, even though it's clear, it has a certain look to it. Here's that acid etch logo again and the Gothic lettering. This crystal bowl is extremely well priced. $13.50? That's a bargain. I would have bought this, but I just don't have room for another bowl. Very tempting and a great gifting opportunity. Look at that beautiful piece. Stunning. A brass trivet. That's not something you usually see for Christmas, but I can imagine a casserole dish would fit perfectly on that. Keep your table safe from the heat. Another Fitz and Floyd find. Look at this reindeer. That could be a nice companion piece on our table. Priced at $9. A 
Another great gift. The Mikasa Angel Tray. I see this a lot at Goodwill. It's priced at $10, which is fair. The Mikasa Christmas Bowl. I also see this often. At $8, fill it with some peppermint candies. Wrap it in cello with a red ribbon. You got an affordable gift. Can't go wrong with that. Here's a look at that Ray Dunn Believe Bowl. Really perfect item for the holidays. An ice bucket is another tabletop essential, or should I say entertaining essential. You can use it in so many different ways. It's gone down to $18. You can fill that with breadsticks or even Christmas ornaments in the center of your table. Place it upside down and use it as a pedestal. Another pitcher, perfect item to add or to gift. This is definitely a vintage piece. At $40, I would probably wait for that price to go down, even though that's still a fair deal and a great gift. This is pretty with the gold accents. You could use that for a creamer or even sugar. Rose bowls are some of my favorite. And this one is $18.75. You could place it on top of this cake pedestal. Use that as a centerpiece. And that is, whoa, that has gone down $9.50. Milk glass is another great item to add to your holiday collection. Of course, add some red and got kind of that peppermint look. You could take the lid off. This is from the Indiana Glass Company in that harvest pattern. And you could even take it to a florist and have Oasis put inside in a beautiful arrangement. I wanted to share this Linux holiday with you. You know, that's something that I enjoy that I added to my tabletop collection a few years ago. Many pieces I sourced at the Bluebird Circle. And you could even gift that Christmas tree shape to someone. They don't have to have the set of china to enjoy it. Even candle holders. Cake servers are always practical, makes a great gift. That one is $28 for the initial price. And it has gone down already, but here's the same piece that is actually $5.50. The salad servers are from Mud Pie. They look to be vintage, but they're actually new from a gift shop. And they've gone down to $10. These spreaders from Toll, I would probably wait on $28. That I'm sure would go down in price, but you know, you take the chance when you're at Charity Guild, you never know. And it's new in a box, so that makes it even probably more valuable to some people for gifting. Reed and Barton ornaments, what a great idea. I'm thinking this would make a wonderful table favor. Adding a table favor to your holiday setting is a good idea, and it definitely adds some interest and makes your guests feel welcome. And the ornament is the perfect idea for this time of year. Reed and Barton has quite an assortment in their series here. The angel down to $7.50, and even if you had eight guests, you would have enough here. I also like the idea of a James Avery silver charm placed at each setting. Could even be part of your napkin ring design. Let's look at some options. Marquee by Waterford launched in 1993, was initially made by the Nachtmann Company in Germany, and they added each year to their Christmas endearment series. They retailed for $29, as I recall. Those are priced at 20. Mark Roberts is known for fairies. These are actually stocking holders. Priced at $125 with the original boxes, and actually they've already gone down to $62.50. The swans are nice, and I think for the right setting, maybe spring or fall, that could be a wonderful table favor. There's a brand new Waterford heirloom ornament. That's one of the glass items they added. That's from 2005. And this Nordic Santa 
would be a very nice addition to your farmhouse style, anything rustic. $33.75, he could be your greeter for the holiday season. I like that burlap, very natural. Villeray and Bach did not realize that they made this advent calendar. Each day you open a drawer and find one of their ceramic ornaments that are hand painted. 175, I would probably wait for that to go down in price. I've got some of the elements of the table together and now we will start setting it for some Christmas magic. Our fantastic Twas the Night Before Christmas tablecloth with the golden stars. Can't wait to show you this table. It has come together quite nicely with all the items thrifted from the Charity Guild. I'll give you a close up of this. You'll notice the detail in the tablecloth. It creates quite the story. And we've made use of the silks, the tree topper. And of course, if you had the opportunity to pull things from your home, as I always say, shop your home, then you could even add some more embellishments. And you'll notice how we use the gold Jeanette Glass Company bowls. I filled those with candy. The table is set. We are ready to welcome guests for the holidays. This would be a wonderful table for brunch, lunch, dinner, or any time of the day, even tea time. There's so many possibilities when you shop your local charity resale and you can see that every element here on the table is from this very store. The gingerbread house is also an interesting element to our tablecloth. I even see swans. You could pull from the yellow in the star and in the windows to the burgundy in Santa's sleigh. Lots of different color options here, but I chose to go with the traditional red and green. And we have our table favors tucked inside our appetizer dishes. This Williams Sonoma tablecloth is truly the inspiration for the table. It is a current item. It is called Twas the Night Before Christmas, which is very special to me. My ancestor, Clement Clark Moore, wrote the famous poem. It was published anonymously in the Troy, New York Sentinel on December 23rd, 1823. And it is a Christmas classic. You'll see how easy it is to pull together elements that are seasonal and classic, things you can use throughout the year. And we've created different layers. And the silver goblets bring the eye to a spot that normally you probably wouldn't see on a table. You're looking up high for the candle holders and centerpiece and down low for the table setting. And that wonderful surprise with a party favor. and the vintage votive candle holders are unexpected in a candelabra. Of course, our Shannon Snowman salt and pepper shakers are perfect. It's all in the details, the small things that come together to create a beautiful table. And of course, we've got our ornaments here as the table favor. And we could use this cup for strawberries Romanoff, shrimp cocktail, so many possibilities for this. The Santa is one of my favorite ornaments from the Marquee line. And the red ribbon is perfect to give it that pop of color so it's recognized. And our appetizer cup, the angel is sweet. You always want to give your guests the unexpected. I removed the table favors from the Marquee by Waterford box. I originally thought about placing a red ribbon around it, but I think this works very well placed in our appetizer footed dish. The beverage glasses are such fun. And you'll notice the vintage look is carried throughout, along with some classic elements. You could certainly recreate this look with some items you have on hand as well, as maybe some newly acquired items. These look to be 1960s. I just love those votive candle holders. 
give you another look at that. There certainly are some hidden gems on this table as well. The footed cut crystal compote for under $20. And the find of the day, the Waterford Crystal Martini Pitcher for $15. That certainly was quite a find today. And you can certainly add some Christmas ribbons to that pitcher. And I do like to add ribbon to my cake servers. Not just for gifting, but for serving whether it's a birthday or holiday celebration. And I do like to add candies to dishes on the table. That's also unexpected and a sweet surprise. This is an Avon Cape Cod dish. You probably have seen this in previous estate sales. Well priced at $9 and I placed this ornament box inside. We also have some tabletop essentials for all seasons. The Jeanette Glass Company Gold Banded Bowls. You could use for so many different purposes and of course the find of the day with the crystal pitcher there's so many items that you can pull from your home and then of course shop your local charity resale your guests will feel honored when you add some interesting details and elements to your table including a custom napkin fold the christmas tree napkin fold is actually quite easy to achieve and even easier with these vintage scalloped napkins I will give you a quick tutorial on how to make these. This napkin is unique because it does have holly berries in the corner. So we take a napkin that is perfectly square, we fold it in half, and then fold it in half again. It's that easy. Because the embellishment is on this side, I'm going to turn it over. Usually you would have a solid napkin. And we will take that first edge, fold it about three quarters of the way up, and then continue that pattern of folding up then we will turn over the napkin. You will take the point here, fold it in, take the other point and fold it over. Then I like to go ahead and fold in that flap right there or you could do it on the other side. Let's flip it. And then now we will simply tuck in these flaps, which on a square napkin would be pointed. And it's that easy to create a Christmas tree napkin fold. I actually think that these napkins would have worked better letting the scallops show and fold flat. But I did want to point out how you would tuck that under if you had a typical square napkin with that point showing. And who would have imagined that a tree topper would be front and center of our table? I hope that you set some beautiful tables for the holiday season to welcome your friends and family and that you have fun doing it and shopping your local thrift store. As you can see, it's easy if you focus on the basic four components of the table and then add a centerpiece and embellishments. It's all in the details. And you certainly don't have to use traditional colors. I could even see blue and white transferware. So many options, even with this tablecloth. Possibilities are endless when you are setting a holiday table. And especially when you shop your local charity resale, you can find some interesting and affordable ways to welcome guests. Thanks again for joining Lady Mary Bath. Elevate your everyday with charity resale shopping.